Bronny James, the son of LeBron James, is currently a 6'4 freshman at USC. He's averaging 5.7 points per game, 2.9 rebounds, and 2.6 assists on 36% shooting from the field. It's just been a huge topic of discussion lately on if he's an NBA player and if he's NBA ready. Coming out of high school, Bronny James was a high four-star recruit and a McDonald's All-American. And I honestly think that Bronny is a solid player, and it just comes down to a couple things with him. Is he an NBA player? I don't know. Is he gonna be an NBA player because his dad is LeBron James? Yes. At some point, we just need to accept basketball politics for what it is and realize that since he is going to be in the NBA, what are his strengths, what are his weaknesses, and how can he fit into a squad? Now, I do remember a few months ago, people were talking about Bronny potentially being a lottery pick and LeBron potentially using free agency as leverage to decide where him and his son would be playing. But as the college season has gone on, Bronny's draft stock has pretty much plummeted and is almost non-existent. Now it's not even for sure if he's going to come out in the draft this season. To be honest, man, I think we got to kind of give the kid a break. First of all, being LeBron's kid, when we're talking about playing basketball, there's no way that's easy. And obviously, I don't know him, but from everything I can tell, he's a great kid. He hasn't really gotten in trouble at all. But on the basketball court, being LeBron's kid might be the toughest thing ever. Not to mention that he just had a heart attack while playing basketball. If any other kid in America had a heart attack and then came back and played, that player would be America's favorite player. But because Bronny is LeBron's son, it almost gets ignored and he should be doing everything in spite of the heart attack still. If you've ever had a pulled hamstring or any type of injury in basketball, really think about how hard it is mentally to recover from that. Now imagine having a heart attack playing that sport and trying to come back from it. That would be extremely difficult. We got to give him a break on those two things. But since we all pretty much agree he's going to end up in the NBA one way or another, let's start by talking about some of his strengths. Probably his main strength is his basketball physique, his athleticism, and his defense. He's an extremely willing defender, which in today's NBA is actually a commodity that a lot of teams need. And I really think that he could actually bring a lot of value to an NBA team. You hear a lot about basketball IQ when it comes to offense, but he has a super high basketball IQ when it comes to defense as well. He knows how to be solid and just keep his man in front of him. But then he also has the athleticism to make the spectacular plays, whether it's the chase down blocks, the nice steals, and the dunks on the other end. He's just a good, solid defender. And obviously his body is strong. He knows how to take care of his body and he knows how to continue getting athletic because he's LeBron's kid and has all those tricks and secrets. So his defensive ability, his defensive mind, and his overall athleticism are something that make him an NBA player. One of his next strengths is his jump shot mechanics. I think we can all agree that Bronny James isn't going to be a superstar. He just doesn't have that kind of game or that kind of talent. But looping back around to the defensive strength, if you're not a superstar, you got to be a 3 and D guy. Obviously he's got the defense down and his jump shot mechanics allow him to have the potential to be a great shooter one day. Jump shot is smooth and he has perfect form with a high follow through. Now, while he's only shooting 36% from the field right now and 27% from three, I think that his mechanics will allow him to become a good jump shooter. Does that mean he will become a good jump shooter? No, but obviously he's going to have the work ethic and all the resources that he could possibly want around him to make it to where he can shoot the ball well. I mean, even LeBron has improved his three-point shot a lot throughout his career and his mechanics aren't near as clean as Bronny's are. So I truly believe that Bronny could be a solid three and D type player in the league. Now, Bronny's third strength that we're going to talk about is his passing ability and his passing IQ. But to be honest, I think this could also be a weakness and a hindrance to his game. Now, while Bronny does have the ability to make good reads, make good passes on time and on target, a lot of the time he becomes too passive when he has the athleticism and the scoring ability and just the body fluidity as a whole to make plays on his own to get to that next level of superstardom. But he almost just seems too content to pass or make the right play, something that actually LeBron has been criticized for in his career. I think we just want to see a killer instinct out of him. I just need to see it a couple times. And again, I don't think he's going to be a superstar, so it doesn't shock me that this is how he is. For the most part, superstars are killers. I think it's pretty safe to say that Bronny just isn't a killer for whatever reason, and that's okay. He could still be a really good player and make hundreds of millions of dollars in the league. One thing I do want to get cleared up, though, is I see a lot of comparisons between him and Drew Holiday, and I just think that this is completely unfair to Bronny, but really unfair to Drew Holiday, too. Drew Holiday was literally one of the best high school players in the state of California history. His senior year of high school, he averaged 25 points, 7 assists, and 12 rebounds per game, not to mention 4.6 steals as well. He won Gatorade National Player of the Year. He was the number one guard and number two overall prospect in the 2008 class, according to rivals. Bronny was only a four-star recruit, and that's good. It's just not the same player, even in high school. And again, I don't think it's fair to either one of them. The main problem that people have with Bronny is the fact that he's LeBron's son, so they hold him to a high expectation. But then those same people are also upset that he's going to be in the NBA just because he's LeBron's son, when they're the ones that are holding him to a higher expectation because he's LeBron's son. It just doesn't make any sense. Give the kid a break. He's a good player, and he's going to be in the league, so we should try and help him to figure out how he's going to be able to fit into the league. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.